Hi, I'm Jeff Kleinman, and you're watching my series on post-concussion syndrome and uh, following my journey to uh, healing. So, um, lots since my last video, obviously. Um, you know, first and foremost, I hit my four-year mark uh, the other week. Uh, I did not commemorate it or celebrate it. Um, I just recognized that it was there. Um, this is a journey that's had a lot of ups and downs. And uh, I just can't, I can't live my whole life counting down or counting up from things. So there it is. Um, but obviously the big thing is uh, the lockdowns and COVID. Uh, I live near uh, Boston, which has been one of the epicenters of the COVID-19 virus outbreak. And uh, we've been locked down for a good uh, 40, 40 something days. Um, at first, I kind of felt like, hey, I got this. Like, you know, I've been through social distancing. I've been in situations where I've been like, hey, one day, I hope I can go see a movie in a movie theater again. Hey, one day, I wish I could go to see a hockey game in person. Hey, one day, I wish I could go out to, you know, a restaurant. There was a time when it was just way too much. So, um, it's strange because you, on one hand, you know, I feel like, hey, I've got this. I, I mean, I, I, this is, I do this. I do this. I do this thing, you know. Um, but, you know, that doesn't really account for a global pandemic and the anxiety of that and sort of the, the, the sort of nuclear blast that it, it did to my whole support network <laughs> and all the things that I do for self-care and pretty much all the doctors and all the everything. So, um, you know, it's pretty mixed. Uh, it's pretty mixed. And um, uh, uh, on one hand, I'm doing okay in that, you know, um, you know, I have a fallback routine to get into. Uh, my Qigong, which I'm doing every day, has been really key for me. Um, I'm definitely watching diet, uh, trying not to sit too much on the couch watching TV. Although, uh, you know, it's escape, it's rest, and it's something to do. Um, so that can be, you know, challenging to not get sucked in. And so when I do get sucked in, I've been watching uh, Survivor, um, which for, oddly enough, I think is really awesome for recovery and watching uh, people sort of navigate through challenging situations and, and uh, the non-linear aspect of the show. Um, so I recommend it. That's my TV recommendation. But... Um, yeah, I mean, global pandemic, lockdowns, uh, getting cut cut completely off from uh, the things that I do to connect myself from the world, my weekly Kundalini class, going to, um, you know, Saturday services, uh, floating, um, you know, pretty much, pretty much, you know, everything, um, you know, I was pursuing um, getting some more uh, eye therapy, um, you know, neuro optical therapy, and was looking at neurofeedback, and both those things are now out of reach. So um, you know, and will be on pause for for quite a long time. And uh, you know, that's really challenging to sort of have that gone. Um, so um, yeah, uh, you know. And, and, you know, uh, not that, not that, you know, you know th that I'm keeping tally, but, you know, I'm going through all this, still dealing with PTSD and my TBI, uh, post-concussion syndrome, still dealing with shit in my eyes, still mourning the loss of my mom, who, who's been gone for six months, um, dealing with my extended family uh, through all the, the post-death shit. And... Um, you know, global fucking pandemic. So uh, it's easy to, to kind of look at the dance card there and get really bummed the fuck out. Um, and make no mistake, I get bummed the fuck out, um, you know. But also there's kind of a like, okay, well, you know, I guess, you know, I guess in some ways if I'm going to go through all this shit, um, well, it's not like I'm missing all that much. Uh, we're all missing something. We're all missing, right? So um, I've done, I found a lot of real positiveness in doing projects that um, sort of the greatest thing you need to deal with is waiting um, or time. Um, I just started brewing kombucha, um, which I really enjoy. And really, you know, sort of like 99% of what you do with that is just wait. 
um, you know, uh, growing culinary mushrooms, obviously culinary. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, again, what you do most of it is, is wait. Um, I'm continuing my cannabis grow. And right now, um, what I'm mostly doing is waiting. So um, those are all good. Uh, you know, we've got baby chicks and they're growing and uh, um, there's a lot of waiting there too. Um, my wife's doing a lot of the, the changing the changing of litter and feeding and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of theme right now is like, okay, um, it's time to wait. Uh, so um, I'm waiting. But, you know, in the same respect, there's sort of a Sisyphusian feel to everything. I get up and I feel like I'm on the same loop every single day. And um, that's good for things like Qigong, which I do every day, but not so awesome about the things that I don't do, like meditation, which I probably should be doing. Um, I've completely stopped Kundalini. Um, it's just, it was the thing that connected me to other people. I used to love to go to the Kundalini um, class. But online, like online classes with post-concussion syndrome sucks. Like, let me tell you, I, 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 I like Zoom is a nightmare. It's like a party line speakerphone with ADD, you know, and nobody, I mean, in a lot of situations that I've been in and I haven't been on much, um, it seems like people don't get the basic concept of what they're supposed to do on it. So, um, I found Zoom to be wholly unsatisfying um, and nothing really popping up to really connect well uh, with the community at large and other people. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's challenges. Um, on the upside, uh, family life has been awesome. Um, you know, four years in, uh, my kids and my wife, they understand what I go through. They, they're much more aware of, of the things that I deal with. And I think one of the things that's been a huge thing for me is being more aware myself of what I'm dealing with. Um, you know, kind of recognizing that when I get overloaded, uh, I deal with anxiety or depression, um, or SIs, um, you know, when, uh, you know, that, that I can have an enthusiasm for things and a zest, but also, um, you know, I'm still a spoonie and, uh, um, when I spend tomorrow's spoons, they're expensive spoons. You know, when I spend energy I don't have, it's expensive energy. I'm stealing, dealing with triggers, but I'm trying to be much more um, present with identifying when I'm being triggered and communicate that. Um, communication's been just so key. Uh, and uh, between my wife and I, I, I think uh, the, 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 the nonviolent communication course, um, it's like by... Uh, uh, Marshall, uh, I can't remember the last name, but if it's like, if you look nonviolent communication, um, I'll, I'll link to it, um, in the, below the video. But, uh, I think that's a template, especially when you're dealing with mood disorder and depression or anxiety where, um, you really can focus in on needs and feelings, uh, and make requests and it makes life uh, a lot better. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm hanging in there. Uh, some days are better than other days. Um, about 14 days in, I had two weeks of, of gung ho at the first part of this and then just blew myself out. Um, you know, I think, uh, I'm, I'm much more of a sprint runner than a sprint runner than I am a marathon runner. And this is a marathon. And at times I've been running it as a sprint and that has not been working very well. And so at the end of the day, I'm really, that's what I'm really learning to, to, to work on is like, if this is going to be months and months and months, and, and let me say, um, you know, nothing is a go until there's a vaccine. So whatever happens between now and then uh, is what happens between now and then. I don't have a crystal ball, but um, I, this ain't gonna be over in a year, a year and a half. I mean, we're gonna be dealing with this for a long time, so um, really trying to look at it like a like a marathon, and you know find patterns. If I'm gonna be stuck in feeling like I'm in a loop, then let's try to fill that loop with things that are full of positiveness and self care, and that uh, live be you know live within my energy, and uh, 
you know, allow me to live uh, with uh, some level of quality of life. Um, you know, right now, uh, you know, being at home um, with my family, you know, we're safe. And that's sort of the key here, you know, kind of keeping safe. But uh, really, I want the focus to evolve to be more than just safe, but to have a real quality of life. Um, yeah, so four years in, um, it's been a long journey. Uh, the thing that I often tell people is if I had known how long it would take, I wouldn't have been in such a rush. And, uh, you know, I look back at these last four years and I look at the positive things that I've done to help my TBI. And I looked at the things that have really uh, not been awesome. And, um, you know, it's been a process. I learn from my failures and I try to repeat my successes and recognize that where I'm at now is not where I was when I started this journey. Um, it's a quite different place. Um, I'm a quite different person, um, which isn't a bad thing. I, I, I kind of like the dude I am now much more than the dude I was when I got injured. And so, you know, that's, that's something to strive for, I think, in all this. Uh, when you're working from the dark, when you're, when you're going through tough times, is, um, you know, recognizing that you can build yourself as a, as a different person. So um, that's my update. Four years in, uh, in the lockdown with post-concussion syndrome. What a joy. So, um, you know, uh, I hope this message is reaching out to other people who are dealing with... Uh, dealing with this. And, um, you know, I, I, I thought about making more videos or during this time. We'll see. Uh, I try not to ever put the camera on if I don't have something genuine to say, uh, if I don't have something I'm documenting that's, that's real and that's happening. Um, you know, it's, uh, uh, post concussion syndrome is an invisible injury and the journey is nonlinear and, uh, there are a lot of ups and downs. And um, all I can do is record them uh, and share them uh, and let people know that uh, they're not alone. And, um, you know, I'm here and I'm dealing with it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm living my life and I'm four years in and I've survived for four years. And that says a lot. Uh, that's not a, that wasn't a, a, a slam dunk through there. So um, keep safe, keep strong. And uh, good luck uh, as you also go through all of all of this. Thanks.